So today I wanted to take you through my uh, Saturday morning project um, before the family gets up. I sometimes play with uh, VCV Rack, which is a, a program that lets you simulate a modular synthesizer um, setup using uh, software. And um, I had the idea that I could take one of the sequencers and turn it into an arpeggiator. And an arpeggiator is just something that plays a range of notes around the note that you hit on a device uh, rather than just the note itself. Um, so um, what I've done is taken the sequencer and uh, set it up so that it can only play or its notes only heard when you hit uh, a note on your controller. Uh, and then I've also mixed the velocity that the controller is sending, like in other words, uh, the particular pitch, with a uh, kind of a modifying velocity from the sequencer so that the notes shift around what you hit. So the effect is, for example, if I hit C, you can hear a range of notes. And if you follow the, the lights here, uh, it's the uh, first row that's controlling the, the um, changes to the pitch. And I've chosen to represent uh, the center as zero and then kind of deviate that upward. So this is kind of an upward appreciation. So there's here's C again. And that is based on the velocity that I hit it. So if I hit an octave lower, and then if I hit an octave higher, and then because I'm using the ribbon control, I can very quickly switch downward and uh, one thing I just realized is that um, you can hear it's playing even if I change notes the arpeggiation stays the same which is a neat effect um, but what I'm going to do is actually make it so that it starts the same pattern So um, I don't know if you can hear the difference, but because I did the reset there, um, it means that it's going to start the sequence every time, and you can see the lights uh, underneath here. Um, maybe if I slow it down a little, it'll be more obvious. So now you can see a little better, um, but now when I go... And actually I like it better the other way, so I'm just going to take that out. And that's the beauty of these things, is you can pretty easily... Um, uh, tweak, tweak things, play with them, and that's obviously too slow now, though. I'm just for purposes of illustration, I'm just speed it up. Anyway, so that's my little bit of fun for the morning, and I thought I'd share it. Um, and if you have a copy of VCV Rack, um, these are all free modules for a change, so... Um, there's some of them are third-party plugins, but none of them are paid. So if you wanted to try them, you could. Um, and I'm sure you could figure out which ones just by looking through the plugin manager. Anyway, and I'll try it out with my son later and make a recording.